Hello, welcome back. I have fresh shrimp with green mango for the sourness and drumsticks. It actually goes very well with the seafood. That's what I've seen. So this is actually a Kerala dish that I just love so much. So for this, what I'm going to show you, all the ingredients that we'll be using are mustard, turmeric, red chili powder, and coriander powder for the spices. Now for the marination, we're going to be taking the, this is one pound of shrimp. This is about 70 to 90 count shrimp. So this is one pound washed and drained, ready to go. I have curry leaves, split green chilies, and red dry chilies for garnishing. And I have fresh grated coconut, few shallots along with a small piece of ginger and three to four cloves, depending on the size of cloves that you take, garlic cloves. And of course, our main source. This is the one that adds more flavor to our dish. This is green mango. And also we'll be using drumsticks. This is fresh drumsticks that I just got. I cleaned them and I just put them in water so that it's ready to go. And I also will be using a little bit of coconut milk to thicken our gravy and oil, salt, rest of the things you all know, right? So without further ado, let's marinate our shrimp. For that, I'm gonna be using quarter spoon of turmeric, half spoonful of red chili powder, and we also need salt. Now salt is according to your taste. Okay, so I'm just uh, marinating the shrimp with enough salt and red chili powder and turmeric. Now this is ready to go. So let this sit and now I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen next. Our shrimp is well marinated with turmeric powder and red chili powder and salt to taste, okay? Let's keep that to a side, don't touch it. Let them sit, mingle around there. Now what we're gonna do is get our pan going. So while our pan is heating up, I'm gonna be making a fine paste with this fresh grated coconut. This is 3 fourth of a cup, along with a small piece of ginger and a few shallots. I, I feel that shallots are the perfect ones versus onions and four cloves. So these are two small ones, so I just thought, why not, right? And I'm gonna fine paste this and I'll show you how that looks like. Okay, our pan is nice and hot. Let's get this going. To end the pot, I'm gonna be adding, this is three drumsticks ready to go in water along with now depending on your taste sourness you could add more or less so this is about two handfuls of green mango that i'm just adding into this along with few curry um, green chilies now we'll add more once we enter our shrimp and few leaves of curry leaves all the green ones goes in right now let's give it a good mix Now we're also gonna be adding quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Because we added turmeric to our shrimp, we are not adding a lot here. Half a teaspoon of red chili powder. Let's give it a mix. Now if you like more sourness, please do go for that rest of the green mango. I'm just gonna wait it out and see how how it becomes. Let's cover this and cook for five minutes. So let's check on our drumstick and green mango. Wow. Perfect. 
the mango is cooking still now it's time to add our shrimp along with some water and that coconut paste that we have ground earlier into this let's add few more leaves of curry leaves it's just three if you want to add them as whole you can or rip them apart just like how I am and rest of the green chilies that have we have set aside so I have about six green chilies that I split and let's add salt to taste Let's cover this and cook for another five minutes or so or until that uh, shrimp cooks. Five minutes. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes or so. Let's check on our... Aha! Lovely, lovely, lovely. Mm. Shrimp is cooked. The mangoes are cooked. Drumsticks are all good. Now we are going to add our fresh press of coconut milk. Okay. Now we are going to turn it off first and then pour this because we don't want this to come to a boil. Let's give it a good mix. turning back my stove on and on very very low as soon as you see any bubbles coming we're going to turn this off check your salt at this time in case if you want to adjust it please do now very good our bubbles are ready turn off and cover so what we're going to do is turn on our heat and add few um, spoons of oil our oil is hot let's add in just a quarter teaspoon of mustard our mustard started crackling we are going to add in few red chilies so in goes our dried chilies and few curry leaves these are I'm just adding as whole and just two shallots that I had left over from what we were using earlier. All right, that's perfect. That's, that looks beautiful. We're going to lower the heat and add in our spices, which is just a pinch of turmeric powder, a little less than quarter spoon of um, red chili powder and a quarter spoon of coriander powder let's saute all that let's turn off the heat and head on over to our curry okay wow that is beautiful let's add in our garnish Let's wait five minutes and then we'll check back. Wow, looks amazing. Mm. Only if you could smell this. My gosh. So you just learned how to make a nice comfort food from Kerala. Please give it a try. I hope to hear from you soon. It's nice spicy if you wanted to um, and nice tangy in there so it's a great compliment to go with your sticky rice white rice any type of rice or if you don't want rice go with naan paratha chapati whatever so even appam 
I hope, did you see that recipe? Did you try it out? Did it come out for you? Let me know in the comments below. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you so much for turning into Curry TV. I'll see you next time. Thank you.